Yo, this is Daneo, and just to let you know, my new mixtape 16 is out now. You're watching Crep Junkie, and I'm a Crep Junkie. Peace. Which one, which, which story you want to hear first? No, you tell me, dog. you tell me. These. Okay, so when I was going through my phase of finding out who I am in this fashion thing, I found out that I was a street brand guy. So I didn't know. I didn't know if I'd be like heavily into Versace or, I didn't even know Supreme existed. Like, this is how I know that I'm a street brand guy because I didn't know it existed. I just fell in love with it straight away. And um, these trainers were one of the first things I fell in love with with Supreme. Like my friend Morgan Keyes introduced me to Supreme and he was like, look, these are the new ones that are coming out. And I was just like, whoa. I saw the blues, the reds, the snakes, and these. And obviously I wear black, so this had to be bought. And then I bought the snakes as well. So this trainer actually represents my introduction to Supreme. The whole thing, finding a plug, buying the trainer, because obviously you can't, unless you, you've got to line up for it, and nine times out of 10, you may not even get it. So this actually, it, it, it introduced me to the experience of buying clothes from Supreme, and it introduced me to the culture of Supreme, and it inducted me in the culture of Supreme, this trainer did. So this one here, I wear it, but I don't really like wearing it too much. Do you know what I mean? I've got my snake skins, but because I like black, I mean, look, there's, there's like a scratch already, which I'm a bit pissed off about, but yeah, like this trainer here, this was the start of my addiction. All right, so Sacconis, yeah. these are important because these were the first trainers me and my manager bought together. So me and my manager went to, where did we go? It was like somewhere in Covent Garden, isn't it? But anyway, we was in the West End, and he was like, I need a pair of trainers. We walked in the trainer shop, and I think this was the first time you came. This is the first time after the deal, he came, we were managing team and that, and um, we were looking for trainers. He was like, yo man, these are the joints that Kanye was wearing, but like, they were cheaper over here because they hadn't caught on yet. Was it, it wasn't Sacconi's, were they? It was another pair. Yeah, the other ones that I wanted. So this is sentimental to me because this was like, my manager introduced me to this, but this is like the first, like we both liked it. So this was like a bonding moment for me and my manager, Cal. See Cal? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Raph Simmons, these are interesting. Raph, don't hate me, but I'm gonna be super honest, yeah? After I got all the trainers I wanted, I had everything. It was like, I was the plug guy. I could get any trainer I wanted and I had the money for them. After that, you know, you start thinking to yourself, I just want some fucked up shit. So I was like, I want the most ugliest butters trainers ever, right? And I walked into Selfridges and I saw these and I thought, yes, these are the trainers. So I bought them. And then when I put them on my feet, I was like, these are not actually ugly. And then everyone started complimenting me. So it was like, I didn't win anyway. But yeah, well, I, I, when I say butters, I wanted butters. I wanted people to look at them and go, why? And then I wanted to tell them how much money I spent on them. And I wanted them to go, why? I wanted that. But these are actually beautiful trainers. Like, they're tremendously beautiful. They're one of my favorites. And they're very strong. You can't, the only thing with these is as well, like, like I said, you, couldn't, you can't train in these. These will fuck up your feet. But like, I, I, I love the, I just love these trainers, man. But I really wanted a butter pair of trainers. That's why I, huh? What? Because I had everything I wanted. So I wanted something that could stand out. And I saw these and I was like, these are the motherfuckers. But they ended up being beautiful anyway.